that's what you deserve. That's what you came here to do. You didn't come here to be mediocre. You didn't come here to struggle because it's a difference between doing hard things like completing hard work and struggling. See, struggling is powerless. Doing hard things, you have your power. Hello, great day, grand rising, all the beautiful greetings <clears throat> for all of you. How are you? It's been such an amazing time just living, just living and enjoying life, enjoying all that it is to be knowing you. And, and especially, I just want to shout out one of the most special people in my life in my life because without this person I couldn't breathe without this person I would not be here today without this person I would not have the strength to even fathom what it would look like to start a new day and of course I mean I could go on and on but of course I'm talking about myself and this reason is because it's incredibly powerful for us to have an amazing incredible everlasting relationship with ourselves to give ourselves the love and the con unconditional the unconditional kindness that others have experienced from us that others have completely fallen madly in love with us for I just have to say it first of all giving thanks to all of my mentors I have y'all know I'm always gonna talk to y'all about it always always um, today <laughs> is a special shout out to Miss Blue if you don't know you need to go ahead and check her out planet remix you can look her up uh, blue raspberry on YouTube um, and you'll see her beautiful picture pop, pop up with her lovely locks you gonna see her you know exactly who it is you will know because only the only those who are called to this work will know okay anybody else who's like I can't find out I can't see well that's because it ain't for you baby it ain't for you but those of you who are called you will be able to see her and you will find it and go ahead and join because this community is none is like no other um, when it comes to spiritual work um, to loving yourself that's where it's at that's where it's at so today i really just wanted to bask in this beautiful sunlight it's um actually a wonderful like beginning yeah it's a wonderful beginning i mean we got new haircut style okay we've got spring in the air it's april april the 8th 2024 so a lot of y'all who know the solar eclipse is on the way um in about 9 10 11 12 four hours and some change for us um over here in illinois i think we're gonna get about 94 percent coverage so that's pretty enough right um uh as um shout out to my other mentor so so when it comes to um emotional let's see when it comes to emotional healing and self-love practices true self-love practices like from a spiritual energetic level that's my that's my mentor miss blue when it comes to strategy and accountability in lifestyle say it you already know it if you've been following my channel you already know it yes it's a healthy alternative aha aha communities make sure you check them out i've put the link in my past um my past videos but i'll go ahead and put it in this one as well and um yeah straight up so chris had a live that he put out yesterday on april 7th um 
in this time because you know if you're coming from the past or you're coming from the future um yeah it's 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 okay because the information is still what it is right now right so um this eclipse that's happening today is one that hasn't happened for a hundred years and so with that like in mind I feel like if you're in this time right now this present moment of April 8th 2024 on earth because you know the time looks different in different places right but here on earth April 20 uh, April 2024 the 8th if you are here and you are working on something whether it be for yourself, whether it be for your generations, for your lifestyle, for your family, for your relationships, whatever it is, you want to make sure that you are coming from direct love, direct love for you, not something that you have to do, was supposed to do, was thinking about doing, but you, you failed at or whatever. Like, don't come from those type of things because that's old, dead and gone. All right just make it just make it so just intend it to be so as my as one of my other uh mentors Jan Levenzen you know I, she doesn't know obviously that she's one of my mentors but when it comes to intending information I love to look at Iyanla's work and practice those things because it's it's something to be said when you when you take it and you say I take this I intend it to be so and that is harnessing your self-empowerment. That's harnessing your energy. That's saying, one, I'm taking back my power. I'm not giving it away. I'm not praying, you know, so forcefully that something out there will bless me. I'm saying this is a blessing. I'm taking it and I'm intending it to be so. So definitely make sure that you do that and know that because, okay, look, you know I believe in God. If you don't know, then you should know. I'm definitely, <laughs> I'm definitely very spiritual. And with that, I know that we are all God. Just like we are all our last name, which is our last name is our family's name, right? So to say that we can't do what our creator can do is just silly. Because it's just like saying that we can't give to someone in our bloodline that makes no sense because we absolutely can since they are in our bloodline we have the same um materials within us so we can sustain life for them um more you know effectively because obviously we can all sustain life for others um with the you know certain blood types but you know what i mean so it's that it's that same type of principle i wanted to really just bring this message to you all and just kind of sprinkle some um some information that will help facilitate your process in this energy because even though this specific energy with the solar eclipse is something that won't physically be you know around for another maybe another hundred years but the energy is going to last because if you think about it the last time that this energy was around was a hundred years ago so all the things that we're seeing and have been living in right now all the way up until for us 12 40 p.m that is the time frame that that energy was around and from 12 40 over here in illinois till probably like i said another hundred years that's how long we have the potential for this new manifestation that we're coming into to last so isn't that amazing you know what that says that says that the groundwork that we're putting in right now the seeds that we're laying sowing are gonna grow and the trees and the fruit that are going to be coming from those trees is something that our families and families families are going to enjoy isn't that amazing how far in the future your actual essence is going to last so that's really just all i wanted to chat about real quick um if you're wondering what i'm up to for the most part it's drinking water it's enjoying my essence it's 
connecting with the highest vibrations of me by falling madly in love with myself and not from an egotistical standpoint, from an energetic connection. That's why, you know, this circle is important. It's it's just connecting with me. And the amethyst itself, I mean, I really enjoy all the crystals. And right now I've just been vibing with the amethyst. And it's really just about the calmness and the resonance of love and everlasting peace and joy with myself. I mean, I can go on and on, but really it's about that love it's about that connection it's about that you know responsibility for myself i'm not putting my power off into someone else's hands and i'm not saying you know oh because of the past i you know i no longer have you know the ability you know or the bandwidth <laughs> to deal with certain emotions in different parts of myself because i am me you know so even though things have happened, things have been broken, I have the ability to put it together again. And I have the ability to continue to love again. And not only just love again, because obviously I have an overwhelmingly unlimited amount of love to give. If, it's, if you don't know, then, you know, I, get closer. <laughs> get closer and you'll find out. But I got that for everybody else so effortlessly and easily. That means that I can absolutely turn that within. And that was the time in my life where all of my, my greatest desires at the time had been fulfilled. When I started to take myself on dates, I started to buy myself flowers. I started to talk to myself gently and with love. I started to journal and write songs and... Um, and dance and and exercise because I enjoyed it not because I was punishing myself I began to fast because I was enjoying my own company who knew that that was a thing when you fast you get food out of the way you get drinking out of the way you get digestion out of the way you're just you you're the most you that you've been in a long time and it's something to be said about that it really is um, if you haven't tried it, give it a try. Fast for about, I would say about 20 hours. So a 20 hour fast can look like this. The um, the night that you come home, it could be tonight, right? You have your last meal around five or six. And then you wake up, six o'clock, don't eat anything if you're awake. <laughs> six o'clock comes around and you start drinking water. And don't just drink water, right? Enjoy it, sip it, even program it. If you wanna know how to program it, you start to charge up your energy. Yes, your energy. So if you are one of those type of people who are like, oh, I don't believe in all that, just rub your hands together and hold them out like this. And you're gonna begin to feel a sensation. And you're gonna be like, if you're a scientific type of person, you might have all types of reasons to why you feel that. But the main point and the real reason is because this is your essence. This is your energy. You can make this energy as big or as small as you want. But either way, that's your energy, right? Once you have that energy in your hands, you take your vessel. This is my vessel. This is my little froggy. Um, and you begin to program that water so now the tingling that you felt or the sensation that you felt because it's different for everybody is being programmed into the water if you didn't know that water can be programmed check out chris james video on water and he's got plenty of them he probably has a playlist at this point and um you'll be able to see like the scientific um expression of it all but the reports and all of that but the main point is daily practice practic practice practication practical okay anyway you're programming this water and all that you're feeling all that you're thinking is being programmed into the water think about how the water is going to support you in your fasting think about how the water is loving you from the inside out think about how the water is hydrating you from the inside out and just understand that every time you take a sip you are living all right and then sip your water you sip your water all day long, all day long. When you're hungry, take a few guzzles. 
some people don't recommend it but i would say take a few guzzles drink your water don't just sip too much to the, to the point i mean too little to the point where you're barely getting in you know more than 40 ounces because this is a 40 ounce cup get in you know four of these you know what i mean and by the time you know it it'll be six o'clock that's 12 hours so then you keep on drinking your water maybe take your shower your bath however you do that um take your time massage the oil into your body see what you're gonna do throughout the whole day of fasting is you're gonna take care of you read something that's nourishing right now i'm reading the astonishing power of emotions by uh esther and jerry hicks uh they're you know if you don't know then you can check them out too um they're all over about energetic um powers they um you know channel with abraham really wonderful stuff really wonderful stuff um but read something that's gonna empower you that's gonna nourish you um if you need something that's gonna get into your psyche you can go to things like restorative hypnotherapy you could check um jasmine out jazz up your life i could put up her uh, information in the bottom here that is something that nourishes me on man i can't even tell you like maybe i'll tell you in the video if you're interested but restorative hypnotherapy it's something that goes into your subconscious as you sleep in a yogic a yogic posture it's a specific yogic posture and that is going to give you what you need on a psych psychological level so so many tools so many tools and i'm always always open to sharing everything that i'm doing with you all because it's one thing to show up and say hey look at how i'm doing but there's a whole nother thing to be able to share with you my steps and what i'm doing because then you can go ahead and um, implement them into your own life. I'm here to help facilitate your results, okay? Res facilitate you in getting your results because it's not about me having your power to, you know, manipulate your life. It's about you knowing your power, being empowered after you've listened to one of my videos and follow some of the steps that I'm sharing with you that I've learned because now you won't have to go and do the research on your own, but you you still can't and it's still very good to do, you know, question things, question yourself, question, you know, anything that you're interested in because it's only going to give you more information. It's never going to hurt to research and to question. Um, now, if you're going to be, you know, paranoid about everything and, you know, um, there's another word and I, I'm just so far from that frequency I can barely remember it but there's a type of energy where it's like you just don't trust anything I can basically sum it up in, in that if you're gonna be like that you're probably not here but um <laughs> people are like that you know and so it really you know slows them down it slows them down in, in progression in life so and sometimes they kind of want to be there so you know I, I'm not here for for them but you know for the most part i just want to let you know that i'm always going to share what has been helping me and i want you to be your absolute best in this life experience because that's what you deserve that's what you came here to do you didn't come here to be mediocre you didn't come here to struggle because it's a difference between doing hard things like completing hard work and struggling see struggling is powerless doing hard things you have your power i just got to sum that up like that because it's almost gonna be 20 minutes here but i love you all so much i pray that you enjoy the opening of this beautiful beautiful opportunity to harness um all of your desired experiences starting with your first one so if you have been inspired in this listening and you can basically understand and know where your first desired experience is going to be where it's going to be what are you going to be doing what it looks like share it with us in the comments my first desired experience at this time is completing a water fast an extended water fast the longest i've ever done is five days um if you're interested in how that went i can leave a link for um the interview that i did with a uh, healthy alternative now this was before um before i actually 
like really got into the community to be very honest but so many so many incredible things happened for me in that time frame so i was so excited to be able to uh share my story uh, when they reached out i was completely you know surprised like oh my gosh like you know like I can actually share my story because it's something to that you know we don't just experience things for no reason at all anyway at the longest i've done is five days and i would love to do more than five days i would love to do 15. um one of my spiritual numbers i found out is six which is a maternal number um miss blue uh counted uh, not counted out to me but showed to me that you know okay this is a backward six but when you see the number six it kind of looks it kind of looks like a pregnant woman, right? I kind of am not making it look very good, but <laughs> six, like a little pregnant lady. But anyway, it's a maternal number and makes sense because sun sign cancer, okay? But um, yeah, I wanted to do the 15 because I actually heard that from my heart. I was tapping into, you know, what um, the next steps that I should take um, in becoming more of my physical you know regular self um my physical regular self is fit she moves easily she um is confident she's strong so in that i've got to be carrying a lot less weight you know what i'm saying i've been doing really good releasing weight every single day for the past hmm, i think it's been about a month almost right now and um been good like um it's been like a half a pound to a pound and i've been tracking the data on the scale every single day i didn't weigh myself today because i was kind of in a rush to get out the door um not because i was late either i just wanted to get going um but i've been releasing about a half pound to a pound every day and if you're interested in my process i will be setting up a video soon to let you know about that but um later on today i'm gonna do my best to um capture what i can with the um solar eclipse and i think that's really it now so i'll talk to you all later i pray that you're having an amazing day and always remember to shine your light because the world needs who you came here to be see you later